Welcome to the installation section of the Merlin Surgical System instructional videos. This set of videos covers the primary tasks involved with the installation of the Merlin system as well as the Rolls Infinity Reinverter. The automated CLA and Rolls Infinity models also have the electrical connections. These topics are covered in a separate video titled Electrical Installation. This discussion assumes that you are familiar with each of the main components of the Merlin surgical system and how they function, as well as how to install and align the system. For information on the Merlin system's installation, alignment, and its components, consult your user instruction manual. The main steps involved in mounting a CLA system are 1. Select the correct mounting kit for the microscope in use and attach it to the scope. Two. Connect the CLA to the adapter plate of the attached mounting kit. 3. Align the CLA to the optical axis of the microscope. Select the appropriate mounting kit for the scope where the system will be installed. The Merlin system can mount to all major manufacturer's scopes, including Zeiss, Leica, Alcon, Molar Vedel, Topcon, Takagi, and Inami. The mounting kits are designed to fit appropriately to the specific make and or model of scope for which they are specified. In most cases, the mounting kits will work only with their particular make of scope. The tools required will either be a Phillips head screwdriver or a hex wrench, depending on the bolts supplied in the mounting kit. First, attach adapter plate to scope with bolts provided. Be sure to align the adapter plate by positioning it as far forward or backward as possible in the bolt slots on the adapter plate. When the adapter plate is correctly positioned, tighten the bolts securely to prevent any movement when the other components are installed and used. Some mounting kits require additional steps to complete their installation. These specific mounting kits include detailed instructions for installation. Next, you will insert the CLA dovetail into the adapter plate. Slide the dovetail on the CLA into the adapter plate installed on the microscope. Then, tighten the thumb screws to secure the CLA in place. Warning: Do not use a screwdriver to tighten the thumb screws. A screwdriver places excessive force on the thumb screw and may break it off. Some scopes have additional attached equipment or oversized objective lenses. Thus, you may find that you have to insert the CLA from front of adapter plate or from back of adapter plate. In some cases, you may even have to remove objective lens in order to attach the CLA. Finally, you will align the CLA to the microscope's optical axis. The first step in aligning the CLA to the microscope is setting the front-to-back location. Attach an LPU to the CLA by inserting the locating and locking pins into the mating holes of the CLA. Note that the curved portion of the LPU pivot block should match to the curve of the CLA housing. Confirm correct insertion of the LPU by gently pulling down on the LPU pivot block. A correctly inserted LPU will not detach by simply pulling down on the device. Next, attach a lens to the LPU. Insert the lens post into the LPU mating hole. The lens may be inserted in any orientation. Press in until a click is felt. Rotate the inserted lens until another click is felt. This will indicate that the lens is appropriately centered in the LPU. View the lens through the scope oculars and determine the front-to-back position of the lens within the scope's field of view before making any adjustments. Rotate the LPU to the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock positions and view the actual location of the lens relative to front-to-back positioning. If needed, loosen the adapter plate thumb screw slightly to allow the CLA to move. Adjust the front-to-back position of the CLA by sliding the CLA in the dovetail until the lens appears centered. Secure the CLA position by tightening the thumb screws in the adapter plate. To confirm correct positioning, rotate the LPU to the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock positions and view the actual location of the lens relative to front-to-back positioning. The lens should remain centered as the LPU is rotated. The final step in aligning the CLA to the microscope is setting the left-to-right location. Again, an LPU and lens must be attached to the CLA to perform this alignment. 
View the lens through the scope oculars and determine the front to back position of the lens within the scope's field of view before making any adjustments. Rotate the LPU to the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock positions and view the actual location of the lens relative to the left to right positioning. If needed, adjust the left to right position of the CLA by loosening the dovetail bolt slightly. To loosen the dovetail bolt, use a 532 hex wrench. Pivot the CLA on the bolt left or right to align the lens in the scope's field of view. When the view appears centered from left to right, tighten the dovetail bolt using the hex wrench. To confirm correct positioning, rotate the LPU to the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock positions and view the actual location of the lens relative to left to right. The lens should remain centered as the LPU is rotated. This completes the alignment steps for the Merlin CLA.